Okay, Lou Depot back. The same issue. Can't turn off the heat, or you have heat when you don't want it. And this is common with people that are on a slab, a concrete slab. There is no basement in the house. And they have a hot water boiler somewhere in the house on the slab. And some of the baseboard in that zone is getting hot, but not all of the baseboard. That's a possibility. Or all of the baseboard. And here's how it works. This is your boiler. This is your concrete floor, the actual floor in your house that you live on. There's no basement. There's all sand and earth underneath here. But what the plumber does is he simply runs a line out of the boiler, the feed line, and goes right into the concrete and underneath the earth and to the first piece of baseboard. And then he jumps into the other room underneath the slab and to the second piece of baseboard and so on throughout the whole house and, and back. And then it back under the earth again and to the boiler. So it's a circulating system where it feeds the baseboard with hot water and you get heat and it returns. If you develop a leak under the slab, a slow leak where it pulls with water underneath the concrete slab, the boiler replenishes itself with water. If it's a fast and devastating leak, you'll know that because the boiler will never shut off. But if it's a very, very slow leak, what will happen is, is the water leaks out here on the earth where you can't see it and don't know what's going on. This water will replenish and refeed it right up to the point of the leak. Now that last piece of baseboard will be cool, but some of the baseboard in the zone will be warm. And people will be going nuts trying to figure out what it is. Thermostat, circulator, zone valve, what have you. Shorten the wire. Nothing seems to be working. They can't figure it out. But that's why. So if you do everything... This, the flow check, the circulator, the wiring, the thermostat, and no one can figure it out, there's a good chance you have a slab leak under there, and it's taking the water, the hot water out of the boiler, to feed that leak. And you'll know, because it could happen here. It could happen right here. Oh, I'm sorry, this is the first piece of baseboard. It could happen right here, the leak into the earth where only the first piece of baseboard would get hot and the rest would be cool because there's no travel here. The travel is from the boiler down this way and out the leak. So this would be hot here and these would be cold. So that can only happen with a slab house. If it happened with a house there was a basement with the heat loops going from uh, baseboard to baseboard, you'd see the leak landing in the basement. You'd see the water. But under a slab, you don't see it. Those six reasons will cause you to fix your problem when you have heat and you don't want it. Especially when it's a 90 degree day in July. I hope this helps.